from Hell's Kitchen in New York City. It's the Cube on the ground at Serverless Con. Brought to you by Silicon Angle Media. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman here with the Cube at Serverless Conference in New York City, Hell's Kitchen. Happy to have uh, with me first time guest in the program, Sam Cronenberg. Uh, we had your 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 brother on the program yeah. at the AWS uh, Summit. Not far from here, the Javits Center in New York City. But you're also yeah. a, one of the co-founders, is the, the two brothers uh, for A Cloud Guru. Uh, thanks so much for, for joining me, and thank mm -hmm. you for allowing us to, to come get some phenomenal content here. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for coming for the conference today. All right, so uh, Sam, I, I, take, take me back. You know, mm -hmm. you know, we 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 talked to your brother a little bit about. Uh, it was an interesting story. He said, actually, I got turned down for a job from Amazon, yeah. and ended up creating a training company. But you you built this. Yeah, uh, and yeah. you built it on serverless. You know, did, tell, yeah. walk us through a little bit the thought process, the timing, and you know, you earned a little bit ahead of your time on that. It was yeah, it was uh, it was mid 2015. Yeah. Uh, it was a uh, it's a strange time. We decided we wanted to build this school, this online learning platform. Uh, but the challenge we had is that we didn't have a lot of time. We both had families, and kids, and you know, mortgages, financial commitments. So. I, basically, I had four weeks. I had four weeks of leave owing to me from, from my employer at the time. Uh, my wife and I had been planning this big family holiday with the kids for years and we were about to take it. And uh, I remember having this phone call with Ryan and we were talking about how there's these people taking his online courses and they're really liking them. And we thought, what if we could build this school to teach people cloud computing? Uh, and we just, you know, it was it's such a buzz and we just thought there's something in this. Um, but the challenge was the timing, and I remember my wife turned to me and she said, look, you've got to do it. We'll cancel the, the holiday, take the four weeks, and, and give it a try. And so that's what we did. We actually flew down uh, to live with uh, our and my in-laws and help look after the kids, and I locked myself in a, in a bedroom for four weeks and tried to build an online school. And that was, uh, there wasn't this, there was no epiphany to go serverless. There was no grand plan. Um, it was we had a constraint, which was time. I had no time to build this thing. Um, and so ended up using some of the latest technologies like AWS Lambda, API Gateway, a uh, whole bunch of serverless technologies because I saw that they would help me build this faster. Um, and I could, uh, I could get something to market in the four weeks that I had. I actually spent the first couple of days trying to con uh, skin and configure Moodle, the learning management system, and I t <laughs> tore my hair out. Uh, and yeah, ended up uh, just putting this thing together with serverless technologies, but yeah. yeah. Uh, Ryan just walked by. Oh, uh, and, and there he is. It's uh, a llama unicorn with That's a cat. Or something uh -huh. like that. Put it in the uh, background. In the in the background video. <laughs> Sam, what, what's your brother doing here? He's always he's always trying to troll me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. to talk to us. You know, one of the things you know, the maturation, kind of yeah. the speed of change in, in the industry for new technologies is is just so fast these days. Yeah, it's Take insane. us through from those early days to you know serverless today. Yeah. Um, you know, what, 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 what's your experience been? What, what what do you say to people that look at this technology? I think it's it's a lot easier to get into now than it was two years ago. The ecosystem has grown around it. The core technologies are pretty much the same as they were two years ago. Function as a service, execute functions in the cloud, very similar. But the tooling around it, the ecosystem around it has grown. There's great deployment tools, orchestra orchestration systems um, uh, that, that have come along. So it's a lot easier to just get in now. And early on when we started, we had to roll a lot of things ourselves, um, which took a lot of time. And that's you know what you're trying to stop is losing time. Yeah. Uh, yeah so there's so, that, and the and the community has really grown. There's a lot of support in the community yeah. now. So, so so if you had to do it all over, you could have done it in the weekend rather than <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the four instead weeks. Of, instead uh, of the uh, four weeks. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I mean, what what? But that, that's the yeah. interesting thing I think about uh, what happened to us is that we would not exist. Our business would not exist if it wasn't for serverless technologies yeah. because I literally couldn't. We could not have built that school and just got. It's not like it was the most amazing school when we launched it, but it was enough. It was just enough to get people using it, to get to market, and to start to build yeah. a business around it. All right, yeah. t t talk to me about this event. So it's yeah. the, the FIS serverless comp. Yeah. Um, you know, not unheard of a company that does training to get involved with you know, physical events because you bring them together, but you know, what's the thought process? Talk to us a little bit about that, that, that journey and, and this event itself. Yeah, I mean, okay. a, a lot of this is organic for us. Um, you know, we built, uh, it was, Early last year, we 
you know, we're part of the serverless community. There's a lot of pioneering going on here, a lot of people facing the same challenges. And we thought, well, there's no event to bring all of these people together. You know, and there's a lot of very fast pace of change here, a lot of rapid ideation and new technologies. Let's bring everyone together and, and uh, see what we can do. And that's that's what we did with serverless conf. We decided to, we literally, we've never run a conference before. We just hired a, uh, a warehouse in Brooklyn, uh, a bunch of Australians and British guys coming over and we just uh, invited a bunch of people on Twitter and 250 people turned out to the first one. Yeah. Um, and it just got bigger and bigger from there. So this is actually the fifth serverless conf now. Yeah. Um, well, it, it's a yeah. hot week again, so we appreciate that the air conditioning works yeah. at this one. <laughs> yes. <So. laughs> yes, we have air conditioning at this yeah. way. 460 we're, people here. You brought yeah. up some, some great speakers. We had a number of them uh, on our program this week. Uh, yeah. Yeah, speak to us. I mean, you got sponsors here. You've got good speakers. Uh, yeah. You know what? What? Uh, what give us some of the highlights. Ah, oh, we've got, you know, all of the the main cloud vendors are here. You know, Google, IBM, Microsoft, Amazon, um, and and it's actually the product teams who build this stuff. That's what I love about this event. It's actually the people who build it. Um, it's vendor neutral. It's really cool. You get great thought leaders from the community. Simon Wardley was a highlight this morning. His uh, talk on value chain mapping and strategy was really interesting. Um, Randall Hunt uh, from AWS, X SpaceX, talking about um, the continuous integration process when building rockets at SpaceX was absolutely fascinating. And what bugs in production mean uh, when you're building a rocket, it means the rocket blows up. <laughs> you know, so uh, really interesting, a big variety of talks from you know those tooling providers, companies like us who are just building on serverless and then serverless tooling companies and vendors, really fascinating. Yeah. All right, Sam, what, what should we be looking for in the future from, from serverless and from a cloud guru? Uh, we're going to be doing a whole lot more serverless content. A lot, you're going to see a lot of really interesting uh, new content uh, th through our site, a lot of teaching on serverless. We're going to be doing more serverless conferences. Um, you'll see a lot uh, from us, with not just us, but from the wider community who come to the conference and who we know well, a lot of the experts, we're going to be doing a lot of uh, a lot of work uh, with those people. So. All right. Well, Sam Cronenberg, really appreciate you joining us. Uh, appreciate the media sponsorship to allow the Cube to come get some great content and share it with our communities. Ho hope to see you at many more events. Uh, Thank you, you know, for coming in, in the yeah. future. Thank you so much, uh, Sam Cronenberg. I'm Stu Miniman. Thank you for watching the Cube.